Hi, I'm Anna, and I did a Passion Time project. My question was, how have pandas' populations changed, and what has affected those changes? And can I make a graph showing those populations change over time? So I'm actually just going to explain my graph right now, and I'll, re I'll read you my notes. So, and I found out that the giant pandas are no longer endangered. Um, the population was based by 17% in a decade. So in 2004, it started um, getting better in 2004 up to 2014. China has 67 panda preserves. Um, they were extinct because habitat destruction, human population growing, forcing them into small, non-livable and spaces, and food shortages. Um, China has been trying to increase the panda population like really hard. Like they're the ones that really focused on that and did that like so much. Um, China somewhat decreased the lumber of their. Um, Hold on one second. Yeah. And so, um, China somewhat decreased the lumber, which means they, um, um, they got, ri they really, like, stopped cutting down and moving their spaces where the pandas live. And then also, um, and the fossil fuels, which the fossil fuels are the gas that's being produced by the cars, trains, all that stuff, the airplanes. But I don't think they really decreased the airplanes or the, um, cars or the, um, I think they just decreased, like, factories and stuff. Um, they knew the number was going down, so China, um... So they stopped invading their habitat, and, um, sorry, I can't, um, so they stopped invading their habitat at, like, they didn't invade it as much as they usually do. Um, many local communities came together and fund the giant panda to stop being endangered. So what they did is they probably had, like, a bunch of websites going on, and they, people put money towards saving their places by making other panda preserves, like how China has 67 right now. And, um, they still remain young and threat, because they are not, um, not, like, they're not endangered, but they are vulnerable, which means they're close to being endangered. Um, so... The population went from 1,596 to 1,864 pandas in the wild. I'm talking about the wild. Some reasons why they got killed is that people tried to get their skins to sell it and make money. Um, and they got killed and shot because they... I don't know. People just do that stuff. Um, website and research funds started changing people's answers to killing them and taking off their skins. So that means that um, they started, like, making all these websites and research and, like, all this stuff that was about the pandas and not killing them so they wouldn't be endangered anymore. And then um, we have... So the pandas suddenly started breeding more often, which I find kind of strange because pandas, like, only have one baby, and then now we're having, like, way more than that. And it's kind of like a strange thing going on. China is making rainforest preserves to keep them alive, like how they have 67 right now, which is actually a rainforest preserve, if you don't know what that already is, is a indoor place where they have their habitat at, um... A habit where they're living in their natural habitat, basically, where they decorate it and make it real, and they have fresh water and food and stuff. So it's kind of like if you have a another animal that hunts, they would be able to hunt because you have live animals running and do all that stuff. The pandas went from danger to vulnerable, like I already said. And in 1974 to 1977, there were 2,459 pandas in the wild. Okay, I'm going to go... And, and sorry, nineteen and uh, nineteen eighty-five to nineteen eighty-eight, one thousand and fourteen, one thousand and fourteen pandas were alive in the wild, which is actually kind of unfortunate because they um, aren't really like. It's kind of sad to hear that that they've gone down that big of a number. 
and in 2004, 1,596 pandas in the wild, which I was really happy when I researched this because I was like, goodness gracious, they are going up now. And then, and um, now there are 1,864 pandas in the wild, which actually makes me really happy now. So, um, so that was like my graph, if you can imagine, um, a graph going up all the way down and a little bit back up with pandas going from 2,459, now 1,864. So I'm Anna, this was my passion time project, and I think that we can raise it up even more so they won't be vulnerable anymore, and I really like pandas, so that's why I did this project. So that was my passion time project, and bye!